Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So today I have this very dramatic dark blue smoky eye for you guys. I really like how it turned out. I cannot get over this highlight. Um, I haven't used this highlight in a long time. And girl, this highlight is popping. Anyways, if you guys want to see how to get this look, then just keep on watching. Taking the BH Cosmetics Modern Neutrals palette. First, I'm gonna apply this shade right here. And, oh, actually, before that, I'm gonna apply this shade all over my eyelid just so we can have a nice, even base. This is just gonna go everywhere on my eyelid, even my brow bone. Okay, and now, once we have that on, I'm just going to go in with this shade, and that's going to be used as my transition shade. And you're just going to want to apply this all over the crease, the inner corner, the outer corner, and also bring it up into the brow bone. All right, so once you have that one in there, I'm gonna go in with my Tartlet in Bloom Tarte palette. And I'm gonna be using, in this palette, I'm gonna be using the shade Jet Setter. This one right here. And this one is also gonna be kind of like a transitional shade, but we're not gonna bring it up high into the brow bone. We're just gonna try and keep this in the crease, but also bring it all the way in the inner corner. So, you know, just kind of like a halo eye, a smoky blue halo eye. I'm gonna go back and blend the edges with the first transition shade. I'm going back in with the BH Cosmetics palette and I'm gonna apply a little bit of this shade. So with this shade, you're, we're gonna do the same thing. Just bring it into the inner corner, into the crease, and then into the outer corner. And then with Jet Setter, I'm just going to blend the edges. I'm just gonna go back in with the main color, which is gonna be this middle shade right here. And apply this right here. In the corner as well. That's where you want most of the pigment meant to be. That's where you want most of the pigment to be, and also just blend it into the crease. So you're gonna wanna go back and just blend. You don't want to pack too much and then just not blend. So that's just going to be hard to blend. You know, you want to pack and blend as you go because if you just keep packing on color, then at the end, it's just going to be really, really hard to blend it all out. Now with the first transition shade, I'm just gonna dip back. So I'm just gonna dip back into it and blend everything up here, you know. And just basically go over all the hard edges and blend them. Blend them till your hand bleeds. And once again, with the brush, just pack it on with the blue. 
try and bring that blue back. Well, it really doesn't matter if you can't bring the blue back right now. Because all the blending is just going to make it go away regardless. Whew. So now I'm going to go in with Colourpop Rex. It's this beautiful blue color. I love it. And apply this at the center of the lid. Okay, once you have that on, I'm gonna go back in with this brush and pack on some more blue in the outer corners and in the inner corners. And then I'm just going to go in with the Jet Setter and blend it again. But this doesn't have any more product. It's just whatever's left on it. I'm just going to go back and just basically apply some of this color just so I can bring back the color of this eyeshadow. I'm gonna go back into Rex and apply some more because all the blending took it away. All right, so now I'm just gonna do eyeliner off camera and I'll be right back with that. So I'm gonna apply Smoke Show, which is this shade right here. It's the first one on the last row and apply this really close to my waterline, like super, super close. It's like a very, very dark, it's not black, but it's like a very, very dark brown. I'm just gonna take the blue right here and just smush that, run it under here, like smoke it out. For the inner corner, I'm just going to take um, Funny Girl, just apply this right here. I'm going to be using the Anastasia Contour Kit and I'm going to be using these two shades right here to contour the face. Um, So my forehead. Then just with my fingers, I'm just gonna blend it out. Using this bronzer and I'm gonna bronze up the cheeks just a little bit. Take this blush right here. And apply this on the apples of the cheeks and blend it backwards towards the temples. For highlight, I'm gonna go back to an oldie but a goodie. I'm gonna use champagne 
Pop by Becca and Jacqueline Hill. I'm gonna apply this to the top of the cheeks. Woo! Yes. So blinding. You guys, I cannot wait to get the Nicole Guerrero and Anastasia glue kit. That's gonna be bomb. I'm gonna go in with a nude lip. I'm gonna apply um, Nude Beige as a lip liner by NYX. So for lips, I'm gonna be using the NYX Lingerie Liquid Lip and I'm gonna apply this over this. This is in the shade Push Up. All right, and for the final touch, I'm going to be using the NYX Matte Setting Spray and spray this all over the face. So this is the final look. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Please give it a thumbs up if you did. Also subscribe if you aren't already and I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye guys.